Mark Savage here in motorbike gear and that can only mean one thing no I'm not a weirdo alright <laughs> it means I've got a motorbike I've just come back from a nice little ride actually about 70 mile uh, my neighbour Jamie brought me there 32 mile on their back 65 wasn't quite expecting that and we hit some uh, legal speeds honestly what have I got? It is burnt orange colour. There, Triumph 1050 Tiger. Have a look in a second. I've had an awful lot of Triumphs. I used to have a Kawasaki man. I realised I've had, and the videos on my channel, um, the Triumph Rocket, um, Triumph Trophy. I've had the GT Sprint, the ST Sprint 1050s. I had quite a few Tiger 800s. I sat on a 1200, didn't like it at all, to be honest with you, too heavy and, and, and vulgar, like, like a Defender Discovery sort of, anyway, moving on. Um, Daytona, video on there, beautiful bike that was, did a straight bar 955, so I've had quite a few triumphs, if I'm honest with you, but I've not had a Tiger 1050. These are actually quite nice bikes. Now, there's going to be a couple of videos of this one coming up because she's not happy now the seller George nice fella but you can't put stuff down that you haven't done on a bike blessing and you can't say it's got new tires new pads just serviced bloody body and it hasn't in fact it hasn't been serviced for a long while and I serviced an 800 before and that was hell and all with tank and bits of plastic everywhere this is the same sort of thing they're all speed triples they are beautiful bikes for the engines um, I mean you know speed triples as in triples I've got a quick look around it because there's going to be quite a few videos of this which I know people like. Yay! It's not my truck or cars. Um, <laughs> and beside this is a little car that I'm not doing the clutch video on. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a quick look. Now, stacks of paperwork. I'll show you that in a second. Quick look round. They really have a mean old front to... Oh, hello, doggy. They really have a mean front to these. Lovely colour on here. I do like the fact that it's not got the old disc lock broken, which so many of these have, and I'm probably to blame for that. Look at that, baby. It is a pretty standard bike. No brilliant extras on here. Front pads are low. Oddly, these are out of shape as well. They're not the right length. And you can see by the bars, here's the little clip bits that are just both this side. So it's been shunted over that way, not put back on properly. That's not right, and it's lifting up or resituing. You can see a broken lever here, so these have been off at some time. I was sort of worried maybe it's had some sort of impact or fall over or something. Not quite sure. You do not tea cut or polish these black frames. That's all that is. That needs washing and washing and washing off, and then it needs sorting out. Engine wise, I'll tell you now, it was very, very nice. Um, I'll chat about it in a second. Not a bad dash on these ones. It's got twin keys, twin fobs. One fob doesn't work. See, ah, oh, it's just really, really comfortable. A lot of these have heated seats on these. This one isn't. Exhaust standard. Oh, what do I do with that? Do I go for a nice off-the-market exhaust? I'm not going to pay three, four hundred pounds for one, so that's not going to happen. But I am. I'm going to have to get another exhaust. It's just too quiet. Ow, oh, that's still scalding hot. Don't do that. Centre stand, side side stand, always nice. You can see we've got luggage. I'll go through that in a second. And it's a bit dark. I do apologise, but I've only just got home with her. Ah, oh, here we go, the luggage. Uh, this needs doing. Uh, back box was dropped. He said didn't go on properly. This has got a split here. Um, this one wouldn't come off properly, and out come the rubber. I couldn't get the damn things off. I couldn't get the damn things back on again. They need sorting out. Whether it's a wash, clean, WD-40, and good as gold, or the mechanics have gone slightly wrong. I'm going to go for the latter. Could I just get left for ages? And if it's a warm place, you know? And colouring on here. Nice to have matching, but they've got a few marks on them where they've just been booted around, I suppose. But it's so nice having proper luggage on these bikes so rear brakes sort the chain out got a scott Euler. looks a bit messy we're going to sort that out i don't love scott Euler's. i'll tell you why because 
I've nearly had, and I've seen people that have had accidents. You don't set them up right, too much oil in the chain, then it sprays around the rear tyre, and the first left bend you come to, a bit of oil, you're gone. You know, they are good, they do put a bit of oil in the chain, they stop from stretching, but you really got to make sure you set them up correctly. And you use the correct Scott Oiler oil. Don't use that cheap Chinese stuff. I've seen some people do that. Don't do that either. There's going to be a good few videos coming up of this bike, which I know my motorbike people do like. Yes, I had my F-150. Now, I like that one. I love my Ram. You've got to love my Ram. And there's some more videos of that coming up. You've got to love it. Please watch them. It's a lovely, lovely um, truck. I say motor there. So, thank you so much for having this little walk around with me. We'll do it in a daylight. I've literally said, so I've got my bike gear on. I've only just come back on it. Um, I wasn't expecting to actually buy a bike today. CBR has gone to a very nice owner. Um, I didn't want to mess around with that one. I've done all that hard work to it and I didn't want to put it on the road. This will be my winter bike and this will be on the road soon. So up and coming is a proper look round it, a proper see of all the bits that are wrong that need doing. Then we're gonna do a service on this as well. Front pads, um, fluids, they all need doing oil, filters, air filter. You're gonna spend a couple of quid buying with them goodies and please watch them videos. And then we can decide what exhaust. Um, put your comments below actually. What exhaust would you put on this Triumph? Um, Delkovic, Akapovic, Arrow, um, the Lex ones, Lex Tech ones. Anyone got one of them? I need to know. Uh, I just saw on eBay yesterday. Say that, idiot. The Lex Tech ones, I know they I see a lot of them on 125s, you know, they're carbon, do they fall apart? There's got one that's got like a twin exhaust port on it, looks quite chunky, uh, reminds me of what's on the VFR 1200. I don't know if the baffles are removable. Has anyone got one of those Lex Tech ones on a bigger bike like this? What do they sound like? Performance, you're not going to notice a lot of difference, but I want to know what they sound like. And what would your suggestions be for me putting one on here? As I said, I'm not interested in paying six, seven hundred pounds. It's not going to happen. It's not worth it. I paid a sensible price for this bike. Uh, 28, 29,000 on the clock now. Um, big service coming up soon. But we're going to have a look what good and what bad is on this and go from there. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. Stay with me. And if I can find a ped, I'll do a ped meanwhile as well. But let's not be doing a clutch on this little Toto IQ. It's leaking fluid. Yeah. Forget that. Let's get back to the bike. I almost want to put some music on, you know, where it goes round it. And, yeah, but I don't like that. Anyway. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.